<laughs> Delivering the performance of the night thus far. Introducing again, fighting out of the blue corner, Caleb Irvine! Your next fighter, fighting out of the red corner, Austin Batra! This fight being contested in our lightweight division. A little bit lighter on this side, but uh, I'm sure both of these guys uh, still pack a pretty fearsome punch. And as we said, in those four ounce gloves, everything feels harder. Batra trying to establish those kicks early on. A little bit of a flurry there from Batra. Not a whole lot landing. Oh, looks like Ermine landed a few there as Batra escaped and. Uh, Veered off to the center. Ermine trying to close the distance. Took a knee for his troubles. It looks like he got reversed back into the corner. Batra. Oh! And a great judo throw from Batra. He's got Ermine on the ground. Ermine trying to reestablish that guard. Oh, and it looks like he might have gotten a toe in the eye of Batra. Oh, and that one looked like it stung. Oh, and still, certainly that looked oh. unintentional, but. Yeah, it looked like a grazing toe. It have dug into Batra's eye, and he is on the ground. Looks to be in considerable pain. Oh, and you just hope that this doesn't result in a finished fight here early. Doctor giving him a good look here. Looks like he's going to be able to continue. And that is just the strangest thing. I've seen a lot of fights in my time, but a toe poke in the eye from bottom guard is not something you see in every fight. And as I said with MMA, anything can happen. Every so often, that's to its detriment. And you can see Ermine just trying to show a sign of respect there, apologize. Definitely an unintentional blow. Yeah, both fighters being very professional about it. They're right back to the exchange. Batra unfortunate to lose that position though. It was a terrific head and arm throw that he landed on Ermine. And apart from the toe poke, it looks like he might have been able to sustain that position for a while. Great body kick, ending that combination from Batra. Batra still trying to keep up the pressure. Gets Ermine to fall down. Looks like he's trying to go for the double leg. Batra immediately on the defensive, shoving his hand into Ermine, oh. and then he throws him to the ground, trying to land some ground and pound. Blood coming from Ermine. He's got closed guard, looking to tie up those hands and maybe get a submission. And that cut is bleeding really badly. It's hard to see it from our view, but you can see the pool of blood just to the left of Ermine's head. 
That is really bleeding. Oh, and you look at the slickness. There's so much blood on Ermine's back. He's starting to slip into the, into the ropes. Batra trying to land what he can, but every time he tries to move forward, his opponent just slips back. It's like a slip and slide in there from all the blood. Now the official calls time here, I wonder. Yeah, now they're gonna get a look at this. Oh, oh that is a huge cut. He is leaking. That is absolutely brutal. Ref trying to mop up the blood as best he can. It is still dripping down his head. It was tough to see what caused the cut in the exchange. But that is a truly nasty one. Gets the go-ahead from the doctor as well. I'm a little bit surprised by so that. So am I. Because this cut is still bleeding. But on with the show, I suppose. Let's go. Well, I think if you were going to end up with blood on your sheet, this might happen now. That left side of Ermine looks like a scene out of the movie Carrie. Oh, but a great knee landed up the middle. Had Batra backing away a little bit. Ermine is still game as ever, despite the blood gushing from his head. Now these are five minute rounds, so both guys still have a little ways to go before the bell for the first round rings. And whoever the cut man is in the corner of Ermine is going to have his work cut out for him. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> Both guys a little bit more tentative now. Probably just trying to get used to the new atmosphere with all the blood. Ooh, that was a good right hand landed by Batra there. Batra slips and Ermine's able to get on top. Batra establishing that butterfly guard early on. Ermine not going to have a whole lot of time to work here as he pushes his opponent into the cage. Getting some blood into that beard for good measure as the time runs down. Woo, we got a messy one here, folks. Oh, baby. Do we ever. And check out who's in the corner of Caleb, er of Caleb uh, Ermine. That is former heavyweight and light heavyweight contender in the UFC, Tanner Boser. Recently opting to go to free agency. And uh, we were talking about tapology before. That is the guy that I always pick to win the fights. More <laughs> often than not, I was correct. You gotta love to, to see the, the Canadian presence on the, on the UFC card. So great to see Tanner here supporting his teammate. And I'm sure he'll be offering some words of wisdom there as well. But it did look like for the most part, Batra was in control of most of that fight. Obviously that slight delay with, uh, with the, I guess, jab to the eye, we'll say, the unintentional jab to the eye earlier, but was really able to rebound. Like you said, he was in such a strong position when we did see that stoppage. A little bit concerned that, that maybe kind of losing that advantage due to the timeout, but really able to get right back into the driver's seat there once again and take control of this fight. It was just such a weird and violent round. You got to question how much is Botra's vision affected by that toe in the eye, and... How much is this blood loss of Ermine going to affect him going forward? Yeah. This is a, a very interesting fight that has evolved quite rapidly here. Cutman seems to have done a pretty good job. That uh, cut is bleeding considerably less now. I wonder how quickly it may open up, though, again. And you wonder with all that blood if there's going to be a bit of a slip factor too. Guys trying to throw kicks and uh, coming off balance a little bit more easily. Yeah, 
Ermine a little bit more busy than his opponent thus far. Neither fighter landing anything particularly damaging. Good hook there by Botra as a teep kick comes the other way. Ermine throwing some hooks hard as he backs Botra into the corner. Oh, that one landed flush. Botra trying to hold back the attack. He's got Ermine in the clinch. He's going for a guillotine. Ermine manages to slip out of it. He's got a ninja choke now. Ermine once again slipping out. That blood is to his advantage there, but Batra still on top as Ermine clutching up to try to get a bit of a pause. He's got kind of a guillotine choke from the top, but Batra's legs are on the other end, so he's pretty much going to be safe here. Which is why there's very little panic as far as trying to advance the position. And I think that cut is reopened up here. <laughs> as to be expected, <laughs> Ermine getting into his knees. Once again, the ninja choke there. Looks like it's pretty tight. Is he going to be able to finish this? He yeah. taps him out. That's it. Austin Batra with the ninja choke in round two. Wow. Wow. Just sheer exhaustion as well following that. And there was a moment there as well where I thought Batra was starting to lose it. Irvine found a little bit of control there, throwing some haymakers. <laughs> but Batra doing a good job there of just weathering the storm, able to defend a little bit and take advantage when he saw fit. The man is clearly happy with that performance, <laughs> loving the violence that came his way, loving the violence that he came to dish out. And it was so great the way he locked in that choke. Ermine looked like he was getting the better of him with those hooks, and then it might have been a slip, it might have been an uppercut in the clinch, but Ermine fell to the ground, and Batra was on that choke. He was going between the guillotine and the ninja choke, and then as Ermine stood up, Batra locked that in, all the more impressive because how slippery it was from the blood. And there was nowhere for Ermine to run as he had no choice but to tap. Just, just a catalog of options there for Batra to be able to take advantage of. And he certainly did take advantage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and your winner via submission, Austin Batra! Like I said before, I love the grappling, and when you can pull off a ninja choke of all chokes in an MMA setting, you've clearly done your homework in this realm. <laughs> so, huge respect to Austin Botcher for pulling that one off.